Hi and welcome to my September mango haul. I know it's a little bit late. I did think about combining my September and October hauls, but then I thought it would be quite a long video, so I decided to just keep the two separate. I'm going to run through some of the manga that I got for this um, month, starting with the secondhand BL titles that I picked up, moving on to some of the new titles that I've bought, and then finishing off with just some random charity shop titles that I've picked up. My first title is actually a Yaoi novel. I am collecting the Yaoi novels. This is A Promise of Romance by Kyoko Akitsu and Toko Miyagi. Um, I really enjoy reading Yaoi novels and uh, male male romance novels as well. I'm trying to collect all those that are available in print. Um, I would love for more to be available, um, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Most of the publishers do state very clearly that it's not um, financially viable. Although, I have money, I will buy it. Um, my favourite author is actually Narase Konohara, who wrote, amongst many others, uh, Castle Mango. So if you like Castle Mango, you might want to try and check out Narase Konohara. And if you're looking for male male romance, um, my personal favourite at the moment is J.L. Langley, who wrote the With and um, Without series and without reservations, the first one in that, that series, as I mentioned in a previous video, is being adapted into manga form by Mamahara Eli, um, and I would absolutely love that to be translated, um, going full circle, very transnational, uh, so that it would be available for reading in English as well. Uh, the next title is actually one I already have, and this is a manga title, and that is Only Serious About You, Volume 1, by Asao Kai. Um, it was an absolute bargain. I saw it at £5 and I couldn't resist. I didn't know if I actually had it and I didn't actually care. I thought, just buy it and then check later. And of course I did and checked later and realised I actually already have a copy. So now I have two copies, but that's no bad thing. Um, more Asao Kai in my collection, I'm okay with. Um, it's a really great series, I really love this one. I wish there was more of her work translated into print. There is quite uh, a lot on uh, Renta, um, so if you want to go there and check out some of her work, you can. Um, the next title I picked up that was a second hand is Dining Bar Akira by Tomoko Yamashita. Um, I really like her work. She's got another print title, Black Winged Love, which I read earlier this year, uh, which was a series of short stories. I think this one, I haven't read yet, is actually um, a continued story, so a one volume story, so I'm really looking forward to reading it. She is the author of um, The Night Beyond the Tri-Cornered Window, which of course is absolutely fabulous and I'm obsessed with. So um, just the newest um, volume 6 will be published in October so I'm really looking forward to that. I want to read them all before that volume comes out so hopefully I'll get that done. Um, I really like Tomoko Yamasta's art style as well as her storytelling. She really reminds me of a kind of more darker angstier, slightly more realistic or more, well not realistic, more gritty, more gritty realism than uh, Fumi Yoshinaga and I love Fumi Yoshinaga so um, I really like Tomoko Yamasta. If I'm feeling like I need a little bit more uh, raw energy then I will read some Tomoko Yamasta. So these are the second hand titles that I picked up. Um, except for a little extra at the end that I really want to save to the end. It's kind of a bit weird, so I'm going to leave it to the end. It is a second hand title. So I'm going to go on to the newer titles that I picked up. Um, starting with... They're all of a similar theme. This is also a net comics title. Same as the Dying Bar Akira one. This is Sweet Blood Volume 9. I am slowly picking them up when I can get them for a good price. Um, and I got this for a good price. Um, if you want to get a copy, go to Amazon. It's, I think, only about £2 at the moment on Amazon, so you should check it out. Um, I don't have them all. I think I'm missing five and seven. 
still, so I will pick up five and seven. Uh, and three as well, I think. Five and seven and three. So, for some reason, all the odd numbers. But I now have volume nine, which is good. So one day I will be able to sit down with all ten volumes, because it is completed ten volumes. There are some side stories as well, I think, are available digitally. So I'd like to be able to sit down and read the whole series in one sitting. Uh, moving on to the fabulous Sublime titles that I picked up this month. This is Coyote Volume 2, Ran Maru Zarya. Um, I have Volume 1, but I wanted Volume 2 because I knew Volume 2 was coming out so I could sit and read the two of them together. So I'm looking forward to sitting and reading both of them together. I don't know how many volumes Coyote has altogether, um, but I'm just going to pick up the title and read it as it is. I also picked up um, Crimson Spell Volume 6. Um, I thought I had the whole series, turns out I actually am missing Volume 4. I thought I was missing a Volume 3, so I bought a Volume 3 and it turned out it was Volume 4 I was missing. So I actually still can't sit down and binge read the whole series with the new title. I'm really looking forward to it, you can see it's still it's plastic, opening it up and reading it. So I'm going to wait until I can get a volume 4 so I can sit and binge read. I really like it when I can just sit and go through a whole series. Um, so I have read a few of the different um, titles for other manga readathons, um, but I would like to be able to just sit and read through the whole, all of them for the volume 6, so I will wait until I can get volume 4. Um, and the other Sublime manga title that I picked up was Love in Limbo Volume 2 by Haji. This is only a two volume series and so I now have the second volume so I'm gonna open that up and give that a read um, probably in October or November sometime. So I'm gonna enjoy sitting and finishing this series. It's going to be a good one, I think. Um, so these are the three titles from Sublime and one Netcomics new titles that I bought. Um, and I got a really good deal, actually, on the Sublime titles. Um, so I'm really happy about my purchases for this month. Um, moving on to some random manga that I got at a charity shop. Um, and here they are, Fairy Tale, um, volume 48 and 51 by Hiro Mashima. Um, I have not read any Fairy Tale, I have not watched the anime, I don't know anything about it. So, um, but they were a bargain, so I thought I'll give it a go. Uh, they were only like a pound, so I bought them. Um, I will maybe read them later on at some point, but I just thought cheap manga, I'll put it in my collection at the moment. Um, along with it though, I also got a graphic novel um, that was also in the charity shop. Um, it's by a British author, um, username Regenerated, so I, I think it's part of a series of three. Um, I saw actually someone reading it and they said, oh it's quite good, you should get it if you can. Um, I think it's for young readers, but when I saw that it was in the charity shop and it was only for a couple of pounds, so I picked it up as well. I can always pass it along to someone later on. Um, so yeah, I got some good charity shop finds. And the last thing that I wanted to show, which I was really excited to get, and it's a quite a good find, it's kind of rare and it's usually very expensive, is Underground Hotel. Can you see that? Underground Hotel, Volume 1 and Volume 2. Wow! From 801. Um, Mika Sadahiro. She has a very gritty, very dark, uh, very violent, aggressive BL titles that are hard slogs to read and are emotionally draining to have to deal with the aftermath emotionally afterwards. You do feel like, ugh, this is hard going. So even though I don't particularly want to read it because I know it will be, um, you know, a difficult read, I want to have it in the collection because it does help to complete the set. Um, I am trying to collect all the BL manga that's published um, in print. 
so this is part of that challenge. Um, however, um, even though I got a good price, it wasn't a brilliant price. If I look at um, the price it says $24.95 dollars wise, that's really expensive. Um, I certainly didn't pay that much, um, so I obviously got a good deal for them. Um, and they're usually going for an awful lot if you could find them, because they are quite rare. So someone put them up on eBay, I saw them and thought, why not, I'll put a bid in and, and I got them. Um, and from the photos they just looked completely normal. What makes them really interesting is the size. So here's, let's just hold up, only serious about you, normal sized manga, pretty normal. What on earth is going on with these underground hotels? Why are they so small? What happened? 801, I, I've never seen manga this size and they're thick too, so I really don't understand. What on earth made 801 choose to print them in that format, in that size? I mean, usually you get oversized ones that are slightly bigger, and of course, um, the novels are like small novel sized, but they're still bigger than the small novels. So I don't understand why A to One decided to print Underground Hotel in a small format, but so thick. And I won't flick through it because, um, for obvious reasons, it probably would be quite um, violent and aggressive. So, <clears throat> yeah, that was my surprise. When <laughs> they arrived in the post, I didn't think it was going to be what it was. So when I opened it, I was really shocked that they were so small compared to a normal sized manga and yet very thick. So <clears throat> they're little doorstops. I don't understand. So if anyone, anyone knows why 801 printed Underground Hotel um, in this format, can you Put a comment below let me know if you've got them as well um did you get a good price and let me know as well um i haven't read them yet i'm gonna have to steal myself gird my loins before i read this one um it's gonna be a, a challenge i don't particularly like the kind of themes that i know will be present in uh, mika sadahiro's work i have to really get myself geared up to be able to read them um and probably read only series about you afterwards just to uh, cleanse my soul so um this is my manga haul for september let me know um what you think about the titles i picked up if you've read them if you've got any uh, thoughts on some of them especially the new ones and especially underground hotel weirdly sized